I am so excited for today's video. I feel like I always say that, but today's video is actually like special. It's different. I'm in a new setting. I'm in a new city. I'm actually in Montreal, which is really random, but I basically am moving to Toronto and my place isn't going to be ready until the 21st. So I was like, okay, I have a couple days to kill. What do I do? And I decided to explore Montreal. Oh my God, I'm so exhausted. My hands are literally shaking holding the camera. Let me put you guys down. Is this a cute angle? I can't tell. So I've been wanting to take a trip by myself for a while now. I actually did a video where I took a trip by myself like three years ago. I threw a dart on a map, it landed on Texas, and I went for, I think, 24 hours or something like that. And I just like explored as much of Texas as I could. And I had the best time. Like I have such good memories attached to that video that I've been wanting to do something like that again. This just kind of worked out and I'm really excited to be here. My hotel is super cute too. I have to show you guys a tour. And then I'm probably gonna take a nap. I was gonna say a nap, but it's kind of late. I'm probably just gonna go to bed after that and we will start exploring in the morning. Okay, so the front door is here. And then when you enter in this room, this is the bathroom. I am obsessed with all the marbles. Could definitely take some cute mirror selfies here. But yeah, she's just, the entire thing is like marble everywhere you look. And then when you head out here, there's like a cute little bench, a full length mirror. And then I just, the reason I booked this was I just thought it was so cute. Like the floors are cute. I love those little chairs. There's a little desk area. But yeah, I'm so emotionally and mentally exhausted because I've been like moving for the past four days. Like I swear to God, I didn't leave the house. Like all I did was like ship things and boxes and move things. So I'm gonna take a much needed and deserved sleep. And then I will see you guys bright and early in the morning to explore Montreal. Good morning, guys. I'm very jet lagged right now. I need something cute to wear today, but I don't know what the vibe is. How do you guys feel about this set for today? I think it's pretty cute, so I'm gonna wear that, and then I just need to shower, get ready, and I also have coffee being delivered, which is much needed. I ended up changing my outfit because I feel like it's a little bit cold out today, so I felt like this was better for the weather. The time for me to leave my hotel room has finally come. I've been really lazy today. Oh my god, those art pieces were so cute. If I was rich enough to be able to afford like $10,000 pieces of art, I would definitely fill my home with that. This cafe looks cute as f Oh, it's closed. I wanted to get a photo on that couch. Could I have the avo toast and then an iced vanilla latte with oat milk? just at was so cute but I didn't feel like I could talk to you guys in there like I feel like cafes are such like a workspace where everyone's kind of quiet and doing their thing and if I were to like vlog I think I'd get kicked out or people would hate me so I ended up deciding to just like go find somewhere cute where I could talk to you guys and I also want to journal a little bit I got my girl support and girls journal but yeah this coffee is also bomb I have so much to update you guys and I feel like I say that all the time but my life has just been moving at like super speed recently I don't know what's going on and I kind of want it to slow down I feel like all of my relationships are rapidly changing hopefully for the better but change is just scary like things that I really wanted just aren't going the way I wanted yeah I'm about to cry <laughs> I didn't mean for this to happen, but this is embarrassing. I have my beauty blender. I'm trying to fix my makeup because I have stuff I want to do today. I can't be crying. Oh my gosh. And I took all my makeup out to make room for this tripod you guys are on right now. So I literally have nothing except for this to try and fix my makeup. Okay, we're going to try this again without crying. <laughs> oh my god, I think my tip just popped out. Dude, I've had so many like not nip slips but like under boob slips today like it keeps happening but anyways let's do some journaling let's drink our coffee let's look at nature 
look at this view I have. A girly cannot be sad when I'm in this beautiful fall aesthetic, I'm having a great day, I have a view, I have coffee, and I have a lot of really exciting things like coming up like as much as I say I hate all the change like there is a lot of good change and I have to believe that everything that's happening is gonna be good anyways I'm gonna put all of my thoughts on paper and hopefully I will feel better <laughs> Okay, I'm moving on to trying to get cute Instagram photos by myself. We'll see how this goes. But like this fall background is just like too cute not to take advantage of it. Lens Buddy. This is what I use for any like self timer pics. Oh my God, I feel like this potential. Wait, this is kind of cute. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here, but the road's closed off and it looks like there's like some kind of show or something. Oh my god, guys, she's literally about to walk the tightrope, but not a surface. Guys, I had literally no idea that was gonna be there. I just happened to come like five minutes before she went on. I don't know how these things happen to me. Like, I'm so lucky sometimes. Anyways, that was cool, but let's go to the Ferris wheel. Ah, I made it onto the Ferris wheel, and I got a ride by myself, which I was so excited about. I was literally like, I asked how many people normally go on these and they're like, around seven. I'm like, oh! So I thought I was gonna have to buy like seven tickets or something to ride by myself, but I guess because of COVID, everyone rides by themselves now. So I guess you can have like a group up to seven, but I'm very happy that I can ride alone. Let me show you guys the view because we're actually going up really fast. I don't know what this like ball thing is, but I swear I see it in all like the tourist photos. Guys, I'm so annoying, but I wanna try and get some Instagram photos. My grand's just been lacking and I feel like I need to step up my game. So I'm leaning it against my tripod right now. Actually, this is kind of ugly. I don't want it. I don't want Instagram photos here. We're going back down now and like I really want to ride again, but I don't think they'll let me. This was so short. I was up here for like five minutes. I want to stay. Wait, false alarm. We're going again. I have not been to Montreal since like eighth grade. Like it has been a minute and I don't remember anything because eighth grade I kind of blacked out like all I remember is I was on this like class trip and there was a bunch of drama because one of the girls kept sneaking into the guys' rooms and like trying to like touch them. I don't know, and I went to a Christian school so it was like very drama. Everyone's like, what's going on? Are you guys hooking up? That's a sin. <laughs> like it was, uh, I miss Christian school drama. That's the only thing I remember about that trip. And I remember getting really good ice cream, but that's it. I don't remember anything about the city. <laughs> Guys, I've literally been sitting on the toilet for like 20 minutes editing my photos. Someone just came in. Guys, it just started pouring raining. I'm wearing my mask literally to keep warm. I'm so cold. Luckily I had this flannel, but I'm hiding next to this closed Poke Bowl place. I'm literally just trying to get to Shoppers Drug Mart. According to my app, the rain stops in 17 minutes. So I'm just gonna chill here. Guys, be honest. Is it dramatic if I call an Uber? I'm a five minute walk away. I'm really thinking about it, but I don't think I can justify it. No, I'm gonna wait it out. I'm walking, and look, I found a cool thing. Okay, I'm back at the hotel. I basically just wanted to go to Shoppers to get this perfume. It's called the Good Girl Perfume by Carolina Havera. Yes. This perfume is literally my favorite. I swear to God, everyone, that I tell about this, they're all obsessed with it. It's my favorite. One of my friends got a sponsorship with them and I'm actually really jealous. This would be like a dream to work with them. I'm pretty tired from my day. I really love Montreal though. I feel like I underestimated it. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I actually did. And I kind of want to make traveling alone a series because I just have the best time. But I have a lot of things to look forward to. I need to go back to Toronto because that's where I'm going to be living. I need to get settled into my new place. So yeah, that is, that is my life right now. Anyways, love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.